All right, so for this video, I'm gonna show you guys how to take information from a graph, and I mean from a chart, and then we're gonna display it in a graph. And this is mostly gonna be with, when you have multiple data sets that you need to add to a graph, uh, rather than just one. There's a certain way to do that. And for this example, we're gonna be taking different um, automotive manufacturers and we're taking the, the car sales report for one month and we're comparing um, the different vehicles sold, the amount of each vehicle sold. And these are um, made up numbers. These are not real reports. So I just wanna point that out. And so our end result is gonna be, it's gonna look something like this right here where we separate the, the trucks, SUVs, sedans, and crossovers um, out and each color represents a different company. And it makes it a lot more visually appealing if you're trying to present information like this to somebody else. And so we'll, we'll all go ahead and, and walk you through how to do that. So we're gonna delete that one. And so the first thing we're gonna do is come up here to insert and we're gonna look for this graph, this bar graph right here, the clustered column, because we have multiple data points that we're comparing. Now what you're gonna do is right click on that graph that you just put there, or the chart, and come down to select data. So once you do that, you're gonna to come to this page right here. What we're gonna do first is add a series, and we're gonna have four of these series, one for each car manufacturer. So for the first one, we'll name it Chevy. and its values. So we have all of Chevy's values right here. Now we're gonna add another series. And this one is gonna be for Ford. And we'll grab its values. Do another one, name this one Toyota. Grab its values. And lastly, we need to make a series for Honda and then we will grab its values. There we go, and so now we have our data input into the graph. Once we hit OK, we're gonna see that graph, and if we scroll over, we can see the individual ones, so blue is Chevy, orange is Ford, gray is Toyota, and yellow is Honda. However, this is a little bit hard to read, and especially it has like numbers down here, like what the heck does that mean? So we're gonna go back here, right click on your graph, and this is how we're gonna fix the number situation. Go back to select data, and you're gonna see down here, pull this out of the way, horizontal category axis labels. So these are in order what we want our clusters to be named. So for us, our first cluster is trucks. The second cluster is SUVs third cluster is sedans, and the fourth is crossovers. So all you have to do is type that in and then separate it by a comma. So our first one will be trucks, do a comma, then it knows to move to the next cluster, SUVs, comma, sedans, comma, and crossovers. And once we hit OK, those are all gonna pop up on the bottom and we can see the, the sales and again, this is still a little vague. We don't have any axis labels or a chart title or a legend. And so I'm gonna show you how to put all that in right now. We'll go ahead and name the chart title our September Car Sales Report. And if you come up here to the home, oh, go ahead and click on your chart over here to chart design, go to add a chart element, and we're gonna do axis titles. So we want one for the horizontal axis, and we're gonna come back up here, chart design, add chart element, axis titles, and we also want one for vertical. So for our vertical one, it is the number of cars sold, and our bottom one, oops, is car menu or type of car all 
There we go. And then the last thing we need to do is create a legend so that people reading this graph will know what the colors mean and what exactly we're looking at. So all that is going to be contained again up here in the add chart elements. So if you go to add chart elements, we could scroll down to legend and there's a couple of different places you could put it put on the right top left or bottom. I personally like the bottom. I think it looks a little bit neater. There we go. And so we have successfully moved this information over here in our table into this chart right here. And it looks a lot more presentable. It's a lot more easier to read and it looks a lot better too. All right, well, I hope this helped you guys just kind of get a quick introduction into a couple of the adding chart elements and how to select multiple data points for a chart. Have a nice day.